everyone. Our first reading for this week's Lenten Pause is Psalm 84, which is found on page 800 of Voices United. And I will read the song refrain. How lovely is your dwelling pace, God of hosts. My soul longs, even faints for the courts of God. My heart and my flesh cry for the joy of the living God. Even the sparrow finds a house and the swallow a nest where she will lay her young. At your altars, God of hosts, my sovereign, my God, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts, to me. Happy are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, who have set their heart on pilgrimage. Through the valley of Baca they find a spring from which also to drink. The early rain also covers it with pools of water. They go from strength to strength to appear before God in Zion. O God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our shield. Look on the, the face of your anointed. Truly a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than dwell in the tent of wickedness. For you, God, are sun and shield. You will give grace and honor. No good, no good thing will you withhold. From those you live the upright life, O God of hosts, Happy are those who put their trust in you. How lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts, to me. Amen. Our second reading today comes from Ezra in the sixth chapter, starting in the first verse. Then King Darius made a decree and they searched the archives where the documents were stored in Babylon. But it was in Ektaba, the capital of the province of Media, that a scroll was found on which it was record, written. A record, in the first year of his reign, King Cyrus issued a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be built and the place where sacrifices are offered and burnt, offerings are brought. Its height shall be 60 cubits and its width 60 cubits, with three corners of hewn stones and one course of timber. Let the cost be paid from the royal treasury. Moreover, let the gold and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took from took out of the temple in Jerusalem and brought back to Babylon, be restored and brought back to the temple in Jerusalem, each to its place. You shall put them in the house of God. Now you, governor of the province, beyond the river, and, your, and their associates on the envoys of the province beyond the river, keep away. Let the work on this house of God alone let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews rebuild the house of God on its site. Moreover, I make a decree regarding what you should do for these elders of the Jews for rebuilding of this house of God. The cost is to be paid to these people in full and without delay. From the royal revenue, the tribute of the province beyond the river, Whatever is needed, young bulls, rams, or sheep, for burnt offerings to God in heaven, wheat, salt, wine, or oil, as the priests in Jerusalem require. 
let that be given to them day by day without fail, so that they may offer pleasing sacrifices to God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king and his children. Furthermore, I decree that anyone alters this edict, a beam shall be pulled out of the house of the perpetrator, who then shall be impaled on it. The house shall be made on a dunghill. May the God who is established in established his name overthrow any king or people who shall put forth a hand to this altar or to destroy this house of God in Jerusalem. I, Darius, make a decree. Let it be done with all diligence. Then, according to the word sent by King Darius, the governor of the province beyond the river and their associates did with all diligence what King Darius had ordered. So the elders of the Jews built and prospered through the pros prophesying of the prophet Haggai and Zechariah, son of Otto. They finished their building by command of God of Israel, by the decree of Cyrus Darius and King Axarillus of Persia. And this house was finished on the third day of the month of Ardar, in the sixth year of the reign of King Darius. The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites and the rest returned exiles celebrated the dedication of this house of God with joy. Amen. And our gospel reading for this Lenten pause comes from the Gospel of Mark in the 11th chapter, starting in the 15th verse. Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves, and he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him, for they were afraid of him because the whole crowd was spellbound because of his teachings. Amen. Now I wonder today, what are you carrying on this Lenten journey? What do you need to lay down? What do you need to bring to God in prayer? Where is your dwelling place? What are you carrying?